Lesson three, other people can influence the events in your life, but how you respond to those events is entirely up to you. You can travel the world, and you will not find anyone that control your own thoughts. On your other hand, it is not hard to find people that can cause difficulties, present problems, and be uncooperative or just plain rude. It is human nature to respond to rudeness with rudeness and anger with anger. But there is a key concept that will help you respond differently. It is almost never about you. When someone behaves poorly in, in your pres presence and you, you get caught up in it, it is usually about something else, something that has nothing to do with you. By and large, people don't act poorly because of a deliberate choice. They are so caught up in their own problems that they don't consider how they are affecting others. You don't know what it is all don't know what is what all is happening in that person's life. Do they have a sick family member? Did their spouse lose their job? Are they worried about the bills they can't pay? Did they spill orange juice on their favorite shirt at breakfast? Have a flat tire on the way to work or run into the curb as they pulled out pulled into the parking lot? Are they insecure and unhappy about their in their own lives? Are they curt and uncooperative or rude to you? It isn't about you. But if you respond in kind, all of a sudden, it will be all about you. In that person's mind, you will become the straw that broke the camel's back. Things will just get worse. If that happens, you'll simmer and seethe all day long. You'll mutter under your breath, talk dirt about that, person, that other person, and go home griping about them. When that happens, that person controlled your entire day, even without trying. It's hard to do, but you have to meet anger with tolerance and rudeness with patience. Ignore the other person's behavior and focus on making sure that your behavior is something that you can be proud of. When you learn to do that, you will no longer be giving control of your life to the first rude person you meet each day. Um, I told this story recently in class, I'll tell it again though. When I was going to work for Command Sciences, now I can tell you the guys, um, then they being the trusting large bureaucratic corporation they, they are, they of course trusted me when I said, oh, I don't use drugs. They said, oh, go take a, a test to prove it, right? They made all the new employees to, to take their urine test. And so I went to this clinic to have a urine test done. And I remember it was over on Garden of the Gods, and I walked in and Clark was kind of harsh and hurt, and uh, I didn't let it get to me. I, I greeted her, and um, she snapped at me a few times. But as I was leaving, I finally said, well, I hope you have a very good day. Why, why do you want to know? Why, why do you care? I was like, I just, heard it. I just really hope you have a good day. And she was shocked. She was just shocked that someone would honestly wish her a good day. And I thought, how sad. How sad is that that her day is going so poorly? But the lesson there, of course, is had I responded in kind, do you think it would have snapped her out of her bad mood? <laughs> no, probably not. She would have uh, just had a worse day. And then she would have blamed her old day on me. That's no good. Um, the other day I was driving to work. And I know you've all, when you've been driving, <coughs> Somebody did something that almost caused a wreck, right? How do you normally respond when that happens? I get mad. Oh, you bet. It's like, why are they going to let that person on the road? Why that fool? He shouldn't even be on the road. He shouldn't have a driver's license. They didn't get rid of me. He's like, danger to everybody. Right? Raise right, your hand. Have you ever said that? Come on, come on. Not quite so It's all about honesty. It's all about honesty. I know you said that. Use some extra words. Maybe I don't even know, huh? Yeah. Um, I knew these lessons were taking effect, and i got to tell you, these lessons do not come easy. It's something you have to practice, right? It takes a long time to back. So I knew these lessons were taking effect when my first thought was, oh, well, I'm sorry, I didn't tell the rest of it. <laughs> guy in front of me stopped suddenly. I stopped suddenly. The guy behind me was screeching up behind me, and I was looking at my rear view mirror, but then, oh, he's going to get me. And then he swerved off to the side and missed me. And my first thought was not, oh, that fool, I need to get him off the road. He almost killed me. My first thought was, hey, congratulations to that guy for at least being enough on the ball that he swerved to the side and didn't run into me. 
see the good in it. And what I thought about was every wreck that almost happened didn't happen. So next time somebody almost crashes into you, think about that. They didn't crash into you. And that's kind of a key.